Am I not on the phone with you trying to get you some help? Oh my god! Yeah, so what do you mean, so stop? She's about to fucking die! August 31st, 1988. Bro, I'm scared of it's motionless at the Dallas Fort Worth airport as passengers begin to slowly take their seats. Fuck. 78 people in total were scheduled to fly that day, with the craft being piloted by so, Captain Larry Davis, First Officer died. Terry Kirkland, and Flight Scary. Engineer Stephen Judd. A crew that boasted an impressive 30,000 hours of flight time amongst them. It was a notably windy day for the flight bound for Salt Lake City, Utah. I was the pilot! So much so that by the time they had pulled away from the gate and reached the runway, Shut up, a call was sent down to the cockpit, directing them to hold their position for an additional minute, as the gusts now swelled more and more ferociously. The hold again left the craft stationary, allowing for a few Got moments it. in which the crew okay. members spoke amongst themselves. We forgot something on our first flight today. What the fuck? Do they not the voice you're hearing is that of First Officer Carrie Kirkland, who mentions a point that, in passing, seems completely out of the blue, that they should talk about the dating habits of their flight attendants, as it would give the media something to talk about in the event that they crashed. As Wait, bizarre what? as this line sounds, Carrie was actually referencing a separate incident that had happened not even a year before, with that being the crash of Flight 1713. A few seconds of indescribable My left terror fucking ear is getting gangbanged. I was the wing. Die in an instant. We ask again, why them and not us? In that scenario, the pilots of the flight had also been awaiting takeoff, this time in the midst of a brutal blizzard. And rather than discussing why? their takeoff, they instead why would you had want to fly in this? about the stewardesses on board, joking and laughing amongst themselves about the manner in which they dated around, with these pilots getting so lost in that conversation that they completely forgot to de-ice their plane. A mistake they likely never even realized, as just moments- Are you fucking deadass? A simple mistake could have been- Cause they were fucking flirting. Forgot to. Oh my After gosh! After takeoff, rather than the plane soaring high above the ground, it raised only slightly before falling limp, crashing into the dirt below it and killing 28 people on oh board, my gosh. including those two pilots. The story made national they and international that, headlines, but not the other people. making it a topical reference for Carrie That's to bring insane. up, yet also a clearly inappropriate one, as he had failed to notice the irony in his words following the crash of one. Rasheem, would you? I I'm just gonna ignore that. Seven one three. With your first New act. stricter guidelines were put in place so that pilots would keep their conversation focused on the takeoff process until they were well established in the air. Yet here, Carrie was joking around with the crew, not even noticing that he too was creating a distraction, one that sucked in not only one of their flight attendants but even the captain himself. We were just talking yesterday, you know, about. 191 Which led to Carrie providing one last bit of Gallo's humor. Yeah, you know that Denver? Yeah, they were talking about dating habits of one of the fucked up. Larry! <laughs> Something for our wife and children to listen to. <laughs> what? He was well aware of just how much the media loved a good plane crash segment. That's, that, and what? unbeknownst to that distracted crew within the cockpit, they were about to give them a fresh story. That is fucking terrifying. This man's per on purpose? I was the motive. <laughs> Bro's acting right now, but he's for real. I can't. Audio's like that when you can hear him screaming and then it cuts out. Twenty-two seconds. 
So this is what That's all happened? the airtime the craft could muster, as immediately upon the wheels lifting off the ground, the craft began to roll right, with so the wings striking the runway and catching on fire as it clipped a nearby antenna that was anchored to the ground. The plane was immediately uncontrollable and completely unable to gain any sort of significant altitude as it fell into a pathetic descent and crashed into the dirt below it, sliding well over 1,000 feet before Bro. grinding to a halt. In the carnage, 14 people would lose their lives, including Fuck. two of the flight attendants, while miraculously, all others survived, including everyone heard on this fateful recording all of whom were swiftly fired, though not criminally Good. convicted, despite that the fact that the crash was deemed to have been caused by their own human error. What the crew had failed to realize was that as they joked about the pilots of Flight 1713 and their untimely distraction, they too had distracted themselves to the point of forgetting an integral step of the takeoff process. They had failed to lower their wing flaps and slats for takeoff. Why and without do people these in forget this shit? The flight never stood a chance, making the final words inside that cockpit some of the most chillingly That's ironic insane. ever recorded. That's with this audio insane. going on to become yet another disturbing oddity, found within the dark corners if they're on my chat ban them of the internet Before we get into our next case, Aura. I want to first thank today's sponsor Aura. Damn, they're talking about, about me. Everything can be found online. We Asked when he first noticed the soundless is that Thomas the fucking tank engine that had moved in all around bum, 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 is is bum, bum, Nick bum, and then Nebo wait not Neb who am I fucking t <laughs> Thomas Thomas who's the other next next bow right next bow's the other guy yeah I be watching all of next bow shit bro next bow is my other goat Charlie JJ could no longer see the stars or the moon. Uh, Snapchat? What's the snap? So what's the snap? I got snap. The world of flying is often a scary and complex one, and our first case shows just how important it is for pilots to properly check. Wait, chat, and on some late night shit, we could watch shit like this, and y'all know about JCS? The murder shits? He needs to upload more, because I've already seen all of these fucking videos. But, uh, bro, murder, bro. Oh my gosh. Before taking off. Something that, even as a pilot in training, 18 year old Connor Quisenberry understood all too well. Connor? A well studied student of the what 18 the year old this? Connor Quisenberry understood, Quisenberry. understood all too well. He deserves to be A well studied student of the ATP flight school, Connor had made it his life's mission to become a pilot, completing a multitude of classes and courses at okay, the school. W and by the age of 18, only a few my steps real name the Connor way obtaining his Quisenberry. license. The most daunting of which being the high number of flight hours needed. And so on September 27th, 2023, Connor was scheduled for a nighttime flight with 18 Wait, this just happened. Timothy McKellar, in which he would pilot a small prop plane on a three hour long journey, thus bringing him three hours. Bro, what if they said <laughs> April 19th, <laughs> 9 of 9.40 p.m. in Connecticut? Oh, a guy named Rasheem. And we're just watching this video and it cuts to outside my house. Coveted license. McKenna was just crashed, 22, right into this house. a young man himself, and he had not been Timothy's usual instructor, but, but that coward. day he was the only pilot available to assist Connor. In fact, it was the first time the two had ever even flown together, and it was clear from the get-go that it was probably do they, going they? to be the last. They do? Recognizing the importance of checking over Ghost the plane before takeoff, Connor had begun performing a lengthy check of the craft to I gotta ensure that, that everything was in working order, exactly what most instructors would probably want to see from their students, but apparently not McKellar. As unbeknownst to Connor, his flight instructor had pulled out his cell phone during his checks and recorded the following video for his Snapchat. We got footage! Wow. You know long as was a full time student. Is he roasting his student? The post was scathing, and despite the student pilot not doing anything out of the ordinary, McKellar seemed displeased at the speed at which Connor was operating, telling his friends on Snapchat how glad he was that Connor wasn't his full-time student, and that he'd seen faster movement at the Special Olympics. That's insane. It was clear that McKellar wanted no part of this flight, what? and that the two could be in for a long, tense evening, with McKellar's passive-aggressive attitude only continuing on from here. Dev, we're still waiting on Gabe. 
and Noah went to go get food. Not surprised. Huh. Wait, what does it say? Nothing let's take your sweet ass time. Of course. I would rather take my sweet ass time knowing to how to survive the shit. Would you rather speed him up? Hey, I'm also Gabe. You're right, Dev. You're not wrong. You got Thunderstorm, right? You got the mods? Sorry, I keep pausing the vid chat and whatnot. You got get Bepin X and Virality. You got them? Virality. Slide show of unseen footage. Inside. I also have this in my pod, so it's not like they were. Okay. The caption I know you've had it, but do you have those mods? Keller seems so frustrated. Yeah, well, As he typed, yeah. I don't have to be up Good. at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow oh, no. or nothing. Let's take our sweet ass time and have Bro, a conversation. Let him take his time. I wanna. I would rather survive that than That frustration speed up. obviously can't excuse his comments or his demeanor. As in this scenario, he was the teacher, right. there to support and mentor Connor. Yet instead, he was lambasting him behind his back on social media and making it apparent to the young student that he was being a burden Bro. as he tapped his fingers obnoxiously on the plane. Imagine your fucking school teacher breathing over your shoulder just like, <laughs> so you're gonna finish the test? Damn, I still got 40 minutes! And these posts continued from here as the next Snapchat shows that the two had finally made it inside the craft and had now taken off. It's like everyone finishes the test before you. Hey, so Badass. Hey, so you still haven't finished the test yet. Junior? He said... Let me... This is the voice he... This is gonna be a long three-hour flight, buddy. But for Gump Junior... <laughs> let me tell you this. He is not still the smartest in the class. Bro. Now, Back obviously, w there's a lot of context missing here. It could have been possible that Connor had said something that irked McKellar, or that nah, he was just not being that, responsive to deep. any advice given. Drink water. But this seems to be immediately disproven by yet another Snapchat that I McKellar posted. 1.6 hours into the flight of me giving it to him straight up. Forrest, I don't mind you being Drink hard water. on me. I know I need it. Me thinking Drink to myself, water. did you really think I cared if you minded? But what I actually said is that we're flying planes, not driving cars. We can't have these weak areas this Bro. far in the game. The caption seemed to confirm that Connor was clearly trying to learn and get better, since after all, he was just a student and only 18 years old. But this didn't matter mm -hmm. to McKellar, and unfortunately for Connor, this nightmare of a flight was about to get much What worse. happens? Headed our way like a group of pissed off hornets. McKellar posted, accompanied by a screenshot of a weather radar, showing heavy rainstorms water. in the direction in which they were headed. This was the final post ever made to McKellar's Snapchat. As moments later, how a long is this video, bro? With flight control, I'm sorry, I keep pausing this shit, but this is what I'm talking about with chat. I there's some videos that are just like they might be longer, but my the, the attention span. That's what I'm saying. Nobody has a good attention span. Just vibe out. The stormy night sky. This tough. It That's wouldn't what I'm take saying. long for the plane to be found, tough, or at least what was left of it. As using the final posting from Timothy's Snapchat story, a search team was able she to got track a the path down to a wooded area behind a church, what? with a flight what? having ended in a terrible crash what? due to the turbulence from that storm. And inside that what? mangled mess of what steel were the bodies of Connor Quisenberry and Timothy McKellar. Bro, it's 18 and 22! With Connor's final night on this earth having been spent facing intense ridicule both in real life and on social media, <laughs> making these Snapchats some of the more depressing content out there on the internet. Bro, W. Connor, L. L. Timmy. L. Terry, what the fuck with Timmy? I don't give a fuck, L. Him. Smoking on that pack, bro. Not add ed at the end of irregular verbs when making them in the past tense. That's only for regular verbs. Drink it, hit it, make this it. This is Luke Rockwell, or as some of you may know him as Teacher Luke. Raised in Melbourne, Florida, the now 29-year-old was introduced to a wide online audience around the time that TikTok began exploding in popularity. Is he rizzing me up? <laughs> the premise of his account seemed simple enough from afar. Luke was an excellent speaker who used his understanding of the English language to create short form videos centered around proper pronunciation and phrasing. Do not say explain me or explain you. Instead, you should add the word to 
For example, I'm going to explain to you. Teacher Luke's account had immediately become an asset for foreign speakers to better understand How could this one go wrong? Though this wasn't all the account consisted of, he the as he'd also post a variety of other mildly interesting travel-related videos. Top countries what? that are the <laughs> most dangerous to travel to in the year 2022. And at some, he even took a go at making some more comedic-based content. I didn't realize until I came to Thailand that I hate Thais. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the weather I did I went to Africa and I hate W stream. Like what is he talking about? <laughs> and I hate what? That I hate times. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the weather Which is I just too what? hot, man. To wear around your neck. But none of these were the reason that the account grew to the size it did. As initially, so his page was followed by nearly 3 million TikTok <laughs> users, thanks mainly to his more edgy hey, content, what? leading to some clips that I'm certain some of you have seen before. Mm. How do you say ah! this word? Today, I'm going to teach you th I thought I got banned, but he's talking about the place in Africa. Three different ways to say this word. Some have a hard R and some do not. Negro is the common word used to call black. I'm gonna hurt myself. I was about to say W Luke, but he's pissing me off the more and more this goes on. My people in Thailand. When I first moved here, I was shocked to Wait, hear what is it called? used to call black people in Thailand. Oh, it's just when how I they first moved that. here, I was shocked to hear it because in Western culture, it's a pretty offensive word. But, it's right. hard to label this content from the first <laughs> Luke page into the spotlight. But I guess it could be described as baiting his audience into thinking he's saying something problematic, but instead making it a loosely educational moment. Thus You're vindicating himself up. from anything he said. So like I mentioned before, these videos were definitely Cock. edgy. So much so that in 2020, his page was actually terminated by TikTok. Good. Thus Get this man out of back here. at square one. Undeterred though, he kept on creating, hey, launching uh, a new account people. under the username English with Teacher Luke. And within only one year, it had already gained over a million followers. Elf back. Ears. One million followers on this account. Thank you guys so much. It's so crazy that one year ago on my old account, I hit one million on the same day. W? His content was seemingly inevitable, with each video being primed for virality. But what many might not have known was that his passion <laughs> for the English language, <laughs> as unserious as it may seem from these videos, oh my God, reached far deeper than videos? just the online world. What? In 2019, Luke packed his bags and moved all the way across the world to Thailand, yeah, videos. where he would use his love of the language to get a job as an English teacher, working Must with students bad. from K to 12 while simultaneously having Kahoot? a flourishing Y'all play Kahoot at school? school? All factions of yeah. his life were thriving, and for a moment, w it Kahoot. seemed everything in his world was going Kahoot right. Stream. How yep. could he ever fail? Wait, we should do a Kahoot stream. Bro, in math, we did Kahoot. And I would put some random name that my teacher would have to read out loud that make us sound bad, bro. We would all do <laughs> that. It would be like Sugma. Oh, wow. And my, te my teacher would be like, uh, do you know how y'all send me crazy links? And I'm like, what? <laughs> how my, how I react to what y'all, earn what the Sigma is how they reacted to Sugma, bro. Played in my... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, chemistry clay bro, this shit was fire. I used to play that. We should make like a, a GSG one. CSG, uh, G <laughs> Guess as you can, GSG one. Huge ass. Jeez. Yeah, stuff like that. How, wait, Jeez. how did this go wrong? <gasps> US teacher and TikTok star accused in Thailand of having sex with a teenager. <gasps> <gasps> Sixteen year old. U.S. teacher and TikTok star accused in Thailand of having sex with a teenager. Luke Rockwell was released on bail after he was charged in Bangkok with luring a minor for indecent what? I'm luring. With one article, Fuck one this. headline, the facade of English teacher Luke. Fuck this guy, Luke. Luke. But Fuck how did you. it all go so wrong? Fuck and what exactly kids. happened that led to his arrest? He hate he hates Thailand. Well, it started but shortly he, before the news broke when a 16-year-old was in jail, put him in jail. For a doctor's mm -hmm. office, complaining of intense stomach pain and discomfort. After administering a series of tests, doctors would determine that the girl had contracted not just one, but two STDs. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? With her only partner having been you. Luke Rockwell. No, no, JT. <laughs> Describing regime. 
Now's not the time to make jokes like that. Her mother was furious upon uh -huh, the revelation uh -huh, and immediately uh -huh. took her to the police where the investigation was done, revealing Very some truly damning it. information. It was discovered that before the pair had met up for the first time, they had been messaging back and forth for roughly five months. And during this time, Luke lured her and eventually well, convinced her to sleep with joke. Him. And while this is horrible game? enough, some agencies actually reported that the girl was a former student and had become a fan of his content, which led her to reconnect oh with her former gosh. teacher, insinuating that the grooming may have stemmed back even further than just those five months. But I need to note that I was unable to find any solid proof of oh Wow. This is so creepy, bro this, so take these reports with a grain of salt. But what is known for sure is that while they were seeing each other, Luke asked the girl to keep their relationship private until she had turned 18, so as to not turn any heads. And during this time, Luke never mentioned having STDs, and instead he promised the girl that he was clean, even lying to the point that he had showed her a copy of his medical <coughs> history, which was likely either forged or completely Three, out of two, date. One, go. Luke's actions were heinous, and his words were that of a man who knew he was doing wrong, yet actively trying to get away with it anyway. And if all Could these charges resist. weren't horrible enough, the investigation into Luke revealed one final proverbial nail in his coffin, as the investigators had discovered undeniable proof that these alleged encounters had taken place. Proof that came in the form of video recordings <laughs> that were all done without the victim's Nose knowledge. Back. Following the discovery, Luke was arrested and his TikTok- Yo, what up, chat? How we doing? More. But How despite doing? the evidence- Hey, Noah. Do you hey, try jump scaring or what was that? No, he's just saying hello. Right now we're talking about a guy who slept with a 16 year old and gave her multiple STDs. So what? that's what you want to I'm ready. on like that. I'm ready. What? I'm ready to learn. For yeah, these charges but... lobbied against him, I, I, I it appears that Luke isn't actually in prison. At least, not yet. He's Wait, not in after prison! After making bail, some internet users claim that they've seen him around Bangkok, enjoying He's his life, there? and acting as if Bangkok. nothing happened. Even posting stories on what appears to be his secret private Instagram. I was unable to find any updates outside of this, what? making it unclear whether Luke is still You're on bail, video. if he's been taken back, Every video he's risen back into the custody, camera. or if he ended up beating <laughs> the charges. So for now, it's uncertain how Luke's story will end. Hey, don't put down the but it's player. still disheartening to know that his presence is still looming out there in the shadowy corners of the online Why world. Why is he still there? That'll be you. Wow. What? Why is it showing more kids? The vintage and go huge. October 25th, 2022. What's this ad? The bell like, rings throughout the halls of the Jiuan Middle School in the Yangshi province of China, marking the start of another class period. Jiuan was not your standard middle school. For starters, it was massive, stretching roughly 600 acres. Hey, around, that's, a, that's JT's middle school. JT, that's what, what your middle school we looks like. We grew up like. in the project. We were in the project. Crazy. <laughs> we grew up in the hood. My school was rooms where the students would stay like for time, sometimes even being school. accompanied by their parents. And on top of this, the huge complex was guarded and enclosed by a large wall oh, atop of the What? what? A prison? A place to sit the But as the nearly 3,000 students across the campus piled Whoa. into the classrooms, one student failed to take his seat. Middle school campus. 15 year old Hu Xin Yu. The teacher waited five minutes, then 10 minutes, growing more and more annoyed at the boy's tardiness. However, this annoyance would slowly turn to worry, as by the time the class period no had ended, way. there was still no sign of the boy, prompting an immediate campus wide search. Yet he was nowhere Chicken. to be found. I miss my guy. And most guy chillingly, yet. there was no I record miss. of him leaving out of the school's guarded exit. I wish Confused, I had a guy yet. staff checked the campus security footage, girl. where they would find Hu walking out of his dormitory, heading in the direction of his class, which was located in a building no more than a few hundred feet I would feet get away. lost. Yet, he never made it there. Who's Instead, the campus cameras screen. revealed a blind spot of only 10 meters between his dorm room and that class building. A blind spot that no student and likely no faculty, aside from maybe a select few, could have known about. Mm. And yet, within that blind spot, who had vanished into thin air. So like he's a ghost In between shit. these buildings was a path that led to a large park on the premises, wow. in which many it's assumed who had probably it's slipped just... into. But when police checked the area- What the fuck is this B-roll? Their search oh. yielded nothing. So they took things a step further, this time doing a deeper search of the campus itself, even looking into septic tanks and water tanks, oh, checking okay. every square inch. 
But and again, no trace of the boy was found. What if All they could uncover was yeah. his cell phone and other personal belongings that were left behind in his room, Sticking with the only object of his missing there. being a small recorder that he had purchased a few days before. It was believed that at the time of his disappearance, that recorder was literally the only item he had taken with him. Did he rec Somehow, he this here young boy audio? had disappeared within the tightly no, washed walls like of his school. With there being no sign of him on campus and no evidence that he had ever left. doing a ritual, despite the fact that China and this area in particular is blanketed Search in cameras, history? seemingly watching every single inch, but who was nowhere? It was Damn, as if the it. school so where had swallowed he? him whole. Uh, uh, Shortly after his what disappearance, whose mother began desperately oh. posting to Douyin under the account Xin Yu's mother yeah. searching for son where she begged the public for out. help in finding her missing child. With eclipse of these plaintive pleas, tell me. spark- What am I watching? ...working immense interest from a vast number of people across the web, leading to the case immediately exploding in popularity. Popularity that only continued to grow Bro, as new disturbing she's information like heartbroken. began to surface. It started with a revelation made by an internet user in China who mentioned that Hu was not the first student to go missing from the school. In Should fact, these disappearances more. were becoming seemingly a yearly occurrence, prompting immediate speculation about the school and their potential involvement in these disappearances. With the school becoming more suspicious, as reports began emerging that once police had arrived, they realized that there was data missing from the CCTV cameras, mm. with many of the cameras on the premises conveniently malfunctioning. A teacher took the day that Hu had vanished, almost as if the footage had been deleted Altered, afterwards. Deleted and taken. But not before one of the guards had supposedly snuck a video, which he claimed Giant. exposed what really happened that fateful day. Woo! What the fuck? Is he naked? Is that Noah? Or... What is happening? I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it here, but the grainy CCTV footage shows what looks to be a young boy lying limp before being placed onto a stretcher and carried away. Right. With many online taking the clip and running with it, claiming adamantly that it was who and that he had clearly Warm. been kidnapped. And this wasn't the only supposed recording of the incident, with the other evidence coming from the recorder that Hu had been carrying. But although at this point the device was never recovered, one internet user claimed that it featured a cloud storage system, in which he was able to hack into and access Hu's final recording from that day, with this clip being even more disturbing. <laughs> With all these claims and supposed Working evidence making blood. their way across the internet, everything seemed to point to Hu's disappearance as being one massive conspiracy, one in which the school was not only working to cover up, but also seemed to actively play a role in. But why? What was so special about Hu that made him a target? Mm -hmm. Well, one account from a supposed student of the very same school stated that before the boy had vanished, the school held a mandatory health evaluation, where Hu's blood was drawn, revealing that his blood type was P. And if that doesn't sound like any sort of blood type you've heard before, yeah. it's because it's one of the rarest in the world. As in China, is he a vampire about, or some shit? One dozen out of a million people have it. He is because a, of this, he is a it was claimed blood. that he had been killed in order for his organs to be harvested and used as a transplant for a local official oh. who shared the same rare blood type. The story was compelling, and with the school's suspicious history of disappearances, people Bro, in the area him, began to protest at its blood. gate, demanding to know what was going on to which the principal and the staff lashed out in anger, acting crazed as if they had something to hide. me for, I didn't do it. Which only added further fuel to the fire. And with all these disturbing accounts and details coming out from all across the web, the fire raged more and more intensely as the theories grew wilder and wilder. Until... Giant. January 29th, 2023, when a man walking his dog stumbled across the body of Hu Xin Yu as it hung lifelessly in the woods, oh. alongside a brick wall just barely 60 meters away from his school. 
Next to his body was the voice recorder that had multiple audio messages stating wow. his intentions to end his own life, which was done using his own Dave is coming. Devices. In the time since his body was discovered, lots of new information has been brought forward by officials who sternly stated that both the recording and the video of Who had been completely faked, along with a variety of other details that the press had leaked, and that an autopsy revealed that he had no injuries other than those that were self-inflicted, and most importantly, that the body included all of its organs. It was so also discovered that his journal revealed that he was more troubled than many had believed, and that he was going through a difficult time with his grades suffering drastically nah, this gotta be set up. to these dark thoughts. There's no way. The whole case was honestly a mess, and yeah. especially the coverage during the height of its popularity, as so it's now it clear that people type. were simply making up stories and even evidence, which the media ran with without question, leaving us in a strange place where it's impossible what? to tell which stories and which details were actually real. But to this day, the case still remains polarizing, with many continuing their suspicion of the school and their involvement with the most common arguments being that the school had been searched over and over and over again, and yet no one saw the body? Along with this, many have taken exception to the idea that Hu could have carried this all out with just his shoelaces, as he was there for over three months. Could they really have supported his entire body weight for that long without snapping? Wait, he did it with well, his shoelaces? Well, some people actually tested out the strength of these shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> so people actually tested it out. What do you wow. mean so people tested it out? <laughs> what? That long you didn't, they could have put and like a cinder for block three months. <laughs> for three <laughs> <laughs> They couldn't put like a, a brick or some <laughs> bricks or something, a bag of shits. They put an actual and, human. Well, some people actually tested out the strength of these shoelaces to see for themselves, leading to very So it was set up. Degrees of success. Oh, yeah. It was set up. Mike, okay, they are testing it with the bag. The shoelaces ain't doing shit. Prompting the theory that whose body was somehow planted there afterwards, mm -hmm. or that it wasn't even him. So despite this case technically being closed and the investigation now over, it's still very much alive here in the online How long world, is Gabe gonna take? Where people continue Gabe's to in question chat right now. what exactly happened uh. to Hu Shin Yu. Let's take a look Who the fuck is this? What? what doing? Now, if you ever find yourself in trouble, see you're about to get what? Hear me. If there's an emergency, hear you out. What? What are we hearing out for? You got it. All right. Good. Wait, what is, you, is this yeah. new? So it's just a mystery. All right. It was a freak Deborah occurrence. Stevens. Deborah Stevens. Forty-seven-year-old Deborah uh, Stevens made yeah, yeah. her way through the I know her. delivering newspapers when suddenly. Why is that actually my grandma? All the right. skies opened up, dropping right, down you're a lying historic now. flood on Fort Smith, Arkansas. But knowing she had a job to do, Deborah pushed on, dodging close so roads now. in an attempt to get to her usual paper route. Wait, what? A risky decision. Why? That proved costly. Like, why would you do that? to take a new path behind a set of apartments. We'll go hang out with some people. Deborah's car would be swept up into the floodwaters, and pinning her vehicle river. against a set of floods trees. are so and fucking scary. And in a panic, she calls the police. Imagine your car I'm in water. I'm in an emergency, a severe emergency. I'm in a flooding. My car is veered off the road while I'm doing my newspapers, and I'm flooded over here on the end of Kincaid, and it's all the way up to my windows, and I can't get out, and I'm scared to death, ma'am. Can you please help me? Really bad. I need you to calm down. I need you to tell me where you are. Upon establishing contact with 911 operator Donna Renew, the two Jeez. began their work trying to determine where exactly she had been <laughs> trapped, as this area was completely unfamiliar to Deborah. I'm on the, I don't know, ma'am. I'm on the end of Ken K down here by these apartments. There's some apartments on Ken Wait, K. We're listening to someone's final fucking mo words and shit, bro. I don't know what they're called. What color is your vehicle? Yeah, dark. It's, it's gray. You're not going to be able to it's see. Gray. It's underwater. All the way up to my windows. Okay, hold on for me. Don't hang up. And you're at close to the area, 5801 Kincaid? Uh, yes, ma'am, I need help right now. The urgency of the situation is clear just by hearing Deborah's voice, as she pleads with the operator to send someone out to her as soon as possible, recognizing that the water was likely going to consume her in the following minutes, leading to Deborah growing more and more panicked. Please send somebody fast again, I'm scared. Okay, listen to I can't swim, I can't swim, I'm gonna drown. You're not gonna be able to swim. Okay, 
You're not gonna drown. Just calm down. Well, ma'am, it's Girl just lied to her. Okay, I understand. Hold on for me. I'm scared. I'm sorry. Man, I thought it's it's amazing. Amazing. Right I'm scared. I'm scared. Though this is where this fairly normal 911 call begins to take a strange turn, as Deborah's urgency was not reciprocated by the operator, who began to not only dismiss Deborah's worries, but seemingly become annoyed at the trapped woman. Nobody saved me. <laughs> Am I not on the phone with you trying to get you some help? Oh my god! Yeah. What do you mean, so stop? She's about to fucking die! Where would you cry? I'm sorry. You're not gonna die. I don't know why you're freaking out. It's I don't know why you're freaking She has where's water up to here. And it keeps going up, ma'am. Yeah, I know the water level is high. Hey, man, where's my hand? Watch out. I understand that, but you're freaking out and doing nothing but losing your oxygen up in there. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. You said what? I'm sorry? When are they gonna be here? As soon as they get there. Ma'am, oh my gosh. I know they're gonna find me and it's gonna ruin my brand new phone. What? Why are you worrying about your brand new phone? phone? I mean, you're I mean I, okay, I understand that criticism. I don't care about no brand new fucking phone. Fine for your life. Who cares about your phone? And this frustration only grew more and more visceral as she began to, to place her the face. blame onto Deborah Over a call for getting into this die. predicament in the first place. Hold on, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry if I'm rude, but... You're not rude, man. I'm rude. rude. I know you're scared. Just calm down for me. I'm scared. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. Well, this will, this will teach you next time. Don't drive in the water. Gerlock the Destroy. Couldn't see it, ma'am. I'm sorry or I wouldn't do. I don't see how you didn't see it. You had to go right over it, so... No, I Why? It doesn't matter what she did. She's in the situation the now. The water where I was at. Okay. The water just didn't appear. At this point, what the, the call had been on for well over 15 minutes. But still, no help had become visible to Deborah, who, despite knowing just how close to death she was, remained as composed as she could be, just thankful to have someone there talking to her, even if that person on the other end of the line was dismissing her and demeaning her. You, I'm sorry, ma'am. Stop applying. She's so nice. Oh my god. Donna, thank you for being here for me, Miss Donna. No, fuck Donna. The wall of this failed to stop the obvious annoyance of the operator, who, after nearly 20 minutes now, couldn't help but sneak in a laugh. In between both apartment complexes on this street, at the dead end. In the back, in the very back side, there's a bunch of trees. I don't know. Right there, the she showed it. No this doesn't piss me the fuck. Before finally just losing it. These people are out. They can all see me. They're all standing out there watching me. Miss Debbie, you're going to have to shut up, okay? Oh my I gosh! Listen, listen to me. Yes, ma'am. The whole call had been leading up to this moment, as Donna's frustration had finally boiled over, as she straight up tells the helpless woman to shut up. Though despite this demand, Deborah couldn't keep quiet for long, as the situation that was teetering on the edge of life and death suddenly collapsed. It's helping me pin your location, so don't don't hang up on me. Okay, where are you moving to? Tell me where it's going. You think she can see, bro? Okay, tell me where you are. Listen to me, hold on. Oh I'm on the phone with her right now. She is legit freaking out. She said the vehicle is now moving in the water and she doesn't know which way it's going, so stand by. I'm standing around the very back side of the apartment complex on the southeast side and the only part of her car I can see is the roof and the, the dome line that's on in it. I can't get out there to her and you're gonna have to wait out here to me to get to me, so... It would take officers approximately 12 hours to find Deborah's car, where inside she was dead. Her final moments of life being captured on a 911 call, bro. where the operator couldn't even pretend to care. This, 
and her predicament was made even more heartbreaking in hindsight, as it was revealed that Deborah was handicapped and couldn't even Whoa. swim. In fact, she had a crippling fear of water. Oh. Following the release of this dispatch call to the public, heavy criticism was immediately placed onto Donna Renew, with hundreds and thousands of people signing petitions calling for criminal charges to be made against her. But no such charges were ever made. Fuck. In fact, she wasn't even fired for her role, because this was her final shift anyway. She had submitted her two weeks notice exactly two weeks before, Bravo, and this just Bravo. so happened to be her final shift, which perhaps explains her attitude. And with one last cruel twist to the story, her final just shift? three weeks after Deborah's passing, her mother Nancy would pass as well, with family members claiming that it was due to a broken heart Damn. and the stress caused by the ordeal. Though despite this and the fact that Donna Renew has never apologized for her actions, Deborah's family has gone on to forgive her nonetheless. With this amazing Fuck act of virtue bitch. shining a faint light on one of the darkest cases I've ever come across. Yeah, she basically killed them. Bro was laughing in her face. Hey yo. W video Nick. W video Nick. That shit is fucked up. That shit is fucked up.